it makes sense that a warrior with a sword and shield fights differently than one with a bow and arrow. But an archer can choose to either sit back and shoot or force the fight by flanking around the sides. We've talked about the three playstyles of poke, brawl, and dive, but these manifest in quite contrary ways. So we're going to break down each variation between offensive versus defensive and skilled versus athletic forms, which may conflict with your preconceived notion of what each style looks like. To preface this video, quote, aggressive refers to the mindset being ready to confront the enemy, while, quote, offensive refers to the side looking to take space versus protect space. As seen in nature, with a lioness defending her cubs or chimpanzees their territory, the defender is generally far more, quote, aggressive, while the offense is calm, calculating, and unpredictable, like a cheetah sizing up its prey. Offensive versus Defensive Brawl A brawler's goal to wear down the opponent with constant pressure could be through a defensive method of being a backboard to win the energy exchange. But some brawlers transfer energy less with consistency but rather hitting the snot out of every ball. The points may be shorter but the same effect over the course of two sets still involves breaking down the opponent's body because everything gets harder when fatigued. The offensive brawler will hit, often hit winners by quote accident, but the goal is to land as many body blows as possible through heavy hitting. Alexander Zverev is an excellent example of an offensive brawler who controls the point ripping to the corners, while an Andy Roddick, at least towards the end of his career, plays with safer targets and makes you earn every point. Skilled versus Athletic Brawl Bigger, stronger, and faster players may gravitate toward brawl because it's essentially like starting the race with a larger gas tank, making energy exchange advantageous. Skilled brawling includes players with superior technique, coordination, and ball striking, so the quote, wear down strategy has no correlation with being lower skill. An example of an athletic brawler would be Francis Tiafo, who has a magnificent blend of muscle and movement compared to Andre Agassi, who relies on his timing and accuracy. Nonetheless, these two will fight head-on and refuse to give up space. Offensive versus Defensive Poke A poker's goal to quote bait mistakes could imply extreme patience to sit back defensively and wait for the opponent to make the first move. This creates more time to read the opponent and position perfectly, which is an effective way to counterpunch. But some pokers bait offensively using depth, a nasty short slice, or angling the opponent outside the alley to force their opponent's hand. Remember, pokers themselves do not overhit from a neutral position because counterattacking requires them to stay on balance. Examples of more defensive pokers who sit back are Medvedev or Murray, while Djokovic, as an offensive poker, will use hard angles and redirects to force the opponent to either attack or suffer, but all similarly let their opponent play into them. A quick detour. A poke combo relies on an opponent making a mistake typically from an offensive position by A, overhitting and getting countered, or B, 
doing too little and getting their weaker ball punished. That's different from a dive combo which punishes an opponent who camps in a defensive position either A early in the point before the opponent sets up or B putting the opponent to sleep and finishing with a burst. By comparison a poke combo is still a little more reactive relying on positioning and waiting for the opponent to make a decision compared to a dive combo that's a little more proactive where the player is looking for their specific shot. Skilled versus athletic poke. Some athletic based pokers have subpar base strokes so resort to lobs or slices for protection while using their speed to constantly reposition up and back and their strength to deflect. But poke can be high skill shots where the redirects have punishing accuracy and the shot selection is clever and crafty to the point of maddening. Athletic pokers like Angelique Kerber stay super low to deflect pace or Agni Radwanska who uses her quickness to reposition. Both accomplish the same goal as a fundamentally skilled poker like Ashley Barty who combos her shots brilliantly to keep the opponents off balance and apprehensive. Offensive versus defensive dive. As a diver's goal is to set up the finish, offensive and defensive refers to how fast or slow the diver plays. Some take quote first strike to the extreme by focusing their attack on the first four balls. Serve, return, third ball and fourth ball. Once the fifth ball is struck, the point returns to neutral. The quote offensive diver tends to go for more one shot kills, whether it's a big serve, serve and volley or serve plus one ground stroke. The slower paced quote defensive dive is less likely to press if an opportunity isn't there on the first four balls and doesn't mind rallying a few balls to create the temporary feeling of safety before exploding into offense. An example of an offensive dive would be John Isner or Feliciano Lopez who look for immediate offense compared to Nick Kyrgios who doesn't exclusively rely on his one-two punch but lulls the opponent to sleep before unloading an unsuspecting forehand. Skilled versus Athletic Dive Dive is often thought of as a highly skilled melange of variety in addition to blazing fast putaways to end points. Interestingly, some players gravitate toward dive to take advantage of their athleticism or to compensate for less skills. Compared to the technical requirement for ground strokes, successful net play has a greater weighting on components such as speed, strength, positioning, feel, and reading the opponent. Similar to a basketball player who can't swish a three-pointer so drives to the rim to dunk. The ultimate example of skill dive is Roger compared to the athletic centric dive of a Steve Johnson or Alexander Dogopolov who don't depend on precise ball striking to fuel their ability to finish. Regardless of which form of poke, brawl, or dive you encounter, the counter will always remain the same. Many players see something unfamiliar and revert back to the game that's most comfortable instead of trusting the right strategy to prevail. With this new knowledge, you won't be fooled and be able to match the correct label with each player, always coming back to first principles.